Next, China flexes its growing economic and military power. And that flexing brought results over the weekend when Japan yielded to Chinese demands and released a trawler captain. In the last 24 hours, without any announcement, China lifted its ban on rare earth metal exports to Japan. Semiconductor industry as a whole is moving more and more into the exotic elements. But we're still contained predominantly to CMOS compatible materials because that's what we have in our factories, that's what we use for our integrated circuit processing. We're proposing legislation to reduce America's dependence on China for rare earth metals. So we're going to end up with the most technologically advanced uh, rare earth pr uh, processing facility in the world, producing about 19,000 metric tons per year. Major environmental dilemma, the production of obscure but valuable minerals called rare earth.